All right, it is a beautiful BFR evening, flying between Chicago and Columbus, Ohio. Thin layer above me, beautiful, bright, full moon. Warm up here at uh, 7,500 feet, it's five Celsius. So it's uh, March, we're getting into the, the spring thing a little bit. I just uh, installed uh, Garmin Pilot 10 today. And I always like to play around with things a little bit uh, VFR before I, uh, I am relying on a platform uh, IFR. And uh, what's interesting about uh, Garmin Pilot 10 is uh, they've done a lot of work on the flight planning. They've, this is a, a brand new screen here that uh, if you're familiar with the way that uh, it used to be, they split it up into uh, origin, en route, and destination. I, uh, my destination is uh, Union County, MRT, but I stuck uh, that in as a waypoint and uh, Port Columbus on at the end here just to uh, uh, experiment a little bit with one feature that I was particularly excited about, and that's arrival planning. So if you fly IFR into unfamiliar airspace. It's kind of annoying to flip through all the charts and try to figure out what arrivals they use given what direction you're coming from. When you get familiar with an airspace, that's probably one of the, uh, uh, the nicest uh, benefits as you start to learn local procedures. But if you're going in some place where you're not familiar, um, it's kind of annoying. So. This feature in Garmin Pilot 10 will give you a nice way to, to quickly uh, look at what arrival procedures uh, and departure procedures uh, might be in use so that you can familiarize yourself in advance. So let's say this flight plan, uh, I'm going to uh, Port Columbus, uh, CMH in Columbus, Ohio, and here I'd be uh, coming from the Chicago area, coming from the Northwest, and let's see what uh, uh, sorts of arrivals I can expect into uh, the carrier airport in Port Columbus uh, in general. So I'm going to go to the destination here and click on this new uh, proc, select arrival, and select on map. And here we get this really cool graphical view of the three arrival procedures into Port Columbus. The Bremen 5, the Gale 3, and the Gunny 4. But then most importantly, their kind of scope is laid out here graphically along with all the, the transitions. So real quick, coming from the northwest here, I can see that I'd probably be on the Gunny 4. And uh, I can select that here and actually then look at the, uh, the arrival and all the waypoints along the arrival. They terminate here at the, uh, the transitions. And so here, again, if I wanted to file an arrival or at least be familiar, it would probably be the Fort Wayne arrival, or the, the Fort Wayne VOR arrival. I can select that on here. And uh, there we go, it's a little wonky because I've got Union County in the middle there, but you get the gist. If I was coming from the southeast, I'd be uh, looking at this uh, Bremen 5 arrival. And again, I could do the same thing there. So really handy way to uh, familiarize yourself with uh, arrivals uh, into an unfamiliar airspace.